Good afternoon. It's good to see you again. Today I'm going to talk about uh, one of those topics that I just happen to love because it's so foundational in what we do and it, it, it impacts everybody. And this has to do with employee retention. And I'm speaking at it from the perspective of when you hire a new employee on their first day of hire, your process of retaining them begins on that day. It's not 100 days later. It's not three years later. It's on the day they start. The employee retention process begins. Now, there's another situation where you may have an employee retention issue. Well, with that way, you will. And that is if you take responsibility for a new area. So that when you come into a new area, you've got a handful of new employees to you. And you have an opportunity and a responsibility here to begin the retention of those people on your first day of showing up in that area of responsibility. I can tell you this from experience. I moved seven times at UPS and had 20 different assignments, some concurrent. But at the end of the day, every single one of those new assignments is a new group of people and a new opportunity to set the stage so that they want to retain, remain with you when you take over a new area, <clears throat> and if it's a new person, that they're with you after day one, okay? <clears throat> when you're gonna hire somebody and you're in the interview process, you wanna have some very well-defined skills that you're looking for. Don't be very specific here. You've got a job that needs to be done. You need certain skills to get it done. Write those down and look for them, okay? You may have to consider a personality. Somebody that was face to face with a customer requires a different personality than someone that is basically working with people inside the organization. And I wanna give you a caution on something. When you're bringing somebody in, I wanna caution you against rehiring somebody into a job they previously had. And I say this because they will automatically assume that they know everything. If you're rehiring somebody in an entirely different job and an entirely different manager, that's a new job for them, right? You're okay there. But when you rehire somebody back into a job they previously had, it's a good chance you're gonna have a, ch have a challenge. But throughout the, hire the uh, interview process, you wanna make sure you hire the right person. Don't compromise. If you're under the gun, you need to move quickly and you've got five or six good candidates, uh, Pick the one that's the best of the five, though they are missing a skill or two, it's okay as long as you plan for the fact that you need to train to supply it, okay? So just know going in what your situation is with every one of your new hires. And I'm going to end this video here and pick it up on the next one. Have a great day. Thanks.